I'm trying to talk more. I know you're trying to talk a little too much. Now. Okay, <laughs> too much. I need to shut up. We're gonna go we're through gonna... the video and we're gonna <laughs> react to their response and we're gonna then react to what the other girl said too and then that's what we're gonna do. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Nice to see you guys again. I want to apologize because we haven't been posting much for the last couple of what, months. Yeah, for <laughs> We've weeks. been a little bit busy, yeah, so we apologize. Um, yeah, I've been in school. I've been having like exams every week and then have like uh, finals week. And also this week I have to do my ATI exam, so right, I'm so pretty busy. Hopefully we can start making a few more videos, but um, for now, Let's enjoy this Miss USA pageant. It's been a while too since we've done a pageant, ever since the Miss Universe. Miss Universe, right. I'm not too big in pageants, but like I said, I'll tag along and do my little comments here and there. Not that I'm too proficient in it, but you know, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Good. Each finalist will be asked a question. And here's where it gets very interesting. interesting. The, the questions, questions were actually written by their fellow contestants. contestants. Each mm -hmm. finalist will have 30 seconds to answer their <coughs> randomly selected question. And when their time is up, they'll hear this sound. Get ready because the final question begins right now. Start with the start. New Mexico, please join me. Center New Mexico. Very pretty all over there. New Mexico. The sounds out a lot. The question comes from Colorado. Hi, Allie. Hi. Congrats. Are you ready? Thank you. The 2020 election is right around the corner. What is one issue you would like all candidates to address and why? Oh, well, nice. Being from a border state and being born and raised in a border city, immigration is something that is very important to me. This is not a black and white issue, and that is why we need to have discussions and continue to listen to each other. I think that there's so many people out there wanting the American dream, and my parents immigrated here from Monterrey, Mexico. <laughs> and I am their representation of their American dream. Oh, that was, Thank really, you, Mexico. That was a really good answer. Mm -hmm. I like Very it fluent all. and it was complete. You brought up a big issue. At least for us, we live next to a very important city, so we can relate. Your question comes from Massachusetts. Right, so I, I like it. Congratulations, Good job, Mexico. Thank you. So your question is, for the past two years, the hashtag MeToo and hashtag oh, Time Up have dominated our national conversation. However, some believe it has only deepened the divide between men and women. Have these movements gone too far? I don't think these movements have gone too far. What Me Too and Time's Up are about are making sure that we foster safe and inclusive workplaces in our country. As an attorney, that's exactly what I want to hear, and that's exactly what I want for this country. I think they're good movements. Thank you, North Carolina. I'm she answered it. I like how he spoke. He spoke well, but she didn't say much. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. She answered the question. Not well. Hello, Nevada. Congratulations. Thank you. Nevada. So your question is, in October, my friend Kelsey Quayle was fatally shot while innocently driving to work. In your opinion, what is the largest contributing factor to the high rate of gun violence in our nation? I think that what contributes to the high rate of gun violence is the availability to all of the weapons. I think there has to be another look into the gun reform and we have to consider mental health mm -hmm. in this situation as well because this is not just about guns, this is about what is going on in the in the minds of these of these um, of these people in, uh, oh, come on, of these come on girl say it. She had it. Using these weapons against everyone—it's definitely a mental health issue. It's not just a. Oh, she had it very well for them. Okay, hold on. She stumbled on herself. Yes. So she did really good, and then at the end, she was just like trying to grasp more information. I've done that before, and you just rumble on. But I, she made really good valid points. About mental health. This should be a given, right? I mean. I know sometimes that's maybe overseen a little bit, or maybe they're not as strict with those kind of uh, assessments or whatnot, but definitely. <laughs> Although, I mean, if somebody wants to do something, they're going to do it regardless, they'll find a way. It's but I mean, yeah, getting some control, I guess. I don't know, I think she got a good point, and then, I don't know, it happens. I mean, you're at Miss USA, a lot of people are looking at you, and you get nervous. 
but um, she did a really great job. Just the nurse probably got to her. Okay, we'll continue. Let's go. Oklahoma, please join me. Set our stage. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, your question comes from North There's some good diversity in this lineup. Is there any? Mm -hmm. There's no blondes in top five. Wow. Voting in an American right. Yet only two states currently allow their prison populations to vote. Do you believe that incarcerated should be allowed to participate in our elections? Well, when it comes down to this situation, I definitely, definitely believe that if you're a law-abiding citizen, then you have every right to vote. However, if you do anything that breaks the law, then you should be held accountable until you are released from some of your time. Thank I agree you. with her. That's a good answer. Like yeah. Oh, that was actually like a pretty easy question, I'm not gonna lie. Because if I was writing these questions... I don't know, that wasn't really good. That was an easy question. No, I thought she did really good. That was an easy question. Your question comes from Mississippi. She's so pretty. Congratulations. Alright, your question is... She's pretty too. I was like, maybe. I was like, what are you looking at? I'm like... Yet it is also one of the most racially divided. Why do you think this is? Well, I think diversity is one of the most unique things about our country, and it's one of the most special, and we should cultivate that. We shouldn't be divided. We shouldn't look at our fellow contestants, our fellow man, and say, you aren't like me, okay, girl. so I don't like you. You don't look like me, so I am racist against you. We should come together and, and involve everyone in our lives. I think these 51 contestants that have stood up here tonight represent our country so well because they are so diverse. She didn't answer the question. She's giving her opinion, but she's not saying why. At the bottom line of the foundation, why is it that we have all this racism? All this diversity? I mean, that was pretty uh, yeah. hard, uh, but I think with that question, you have to address how is racism being taught. It's taught. You learn it from somebody else sending you that information. You learn it at your home. What do you mean? It, yeah, exactly. Or at school or someone at been addressing home. it. It can be at home. No. Your parents can tell you. Right. But she didn't answer the question. No, I'm Bottom line, she didn't answer the question. She gave her opinion as to why she thought we should or why we're back in the way we're acting but she didn't answer it to be honest. Personally I thought uh, Oklahoma answered it really well. I like New Mexico's answer because addressing immigration. Yeah and it, it was specific to her you know. Mm -hmm. She brought kinda, herself into it. Right right right. So she made it a little bit personal and you know a little bit more touching. So I liked her answer and yeah Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. I don't know really how I wrote. What's the other girl's name? The other question. It was like super easy. I told you. The Me Too movement? Yeah, no, not the Me Too movement. I don't like the Me Too movement answer either. That's no. been it was asked too a lot of times. Yeah, so. it was too vague. Too. Anyone doing pageants, make sure you look up into that question and know what you're going to say, okay? Because that's been asked a lot. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to go into the top three questions. North Carolina. So New Mexico, North Carolina, and Oklahoma. Really? Yeah, the ones that we liked. Here's your question. No blondes. Oh, she's so pretty. I like her hair. But they've also been called one of the most socially conscious generations in decades. All right. What is one word you've used to describe your generation and why? I would say that my generation is innovative. I'm standing here in Nevada, in the state that has the first majority female legislature in its entire country. Mine is the first generation to have that forward-looking mindset that has inclusivity, diversity, and strength and empowered women. I'm looking forward to continuing progress with my generation. Thank you. I like Francis, that was really... I like how she tied herself into it. Mm -hmm. Not too much, not too little. She gave like a good What was the word? Innovative? Are you going to call it here? Is your question. I like her dress. Millennials are often labeled as entitled, but they've also been involved in one of the most socially conscious generations in decades. What is one word you would use to describe your generation and why? Diverse. We are a nation. We are a nation of diverse, a multicultural nation, which gives us the ability to view life from a completely different lens. At one point, my father was Caucasian and my mother was African American, would not have been able to be together. 
but I am here standing today as a multicultural, Chickasaw, African-American, Caucasian woman, along with my peers. And she wants to come to be like from a beautiful, beautiful lens. And that's what Ms. USA represents a diverse woman. Thank you. I don't think she answered the question. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. Diverse by the Biden. That was already been asked for. Is an answer now? New Mexico, yeah. Is that your favorite? Yes. Because she's from Las Cruces. Is she really though? Yeah. Or is she from like a different state and she just traveled to New Mexico? <laughs> Ladies, we know you guys do that. I think. What is one word you would use to describe your generation and why? We have the calm, the world of the calm over our hands right now. And I think that with you using it so much today, we're able to send out messages to the younger generation. I know, just, just, this competition, my following has grown so much. And to be able to receive messages of inspiration that are inspired someone to do something, it might not be necessarily in country, but in fulfilling a career. I have a message in the so that's really great. Really I like her answer. So Sorry guys for interrupting. <laughs> Boom! Oh, like T minus five, four, three, two, one, and okay. you're done. So I like how she said that our her generation is impactful. She had like the right um, sources of what she wanted to go for, like in her answer. Right idea, yeah. But I feel like <coughs> it kind of I don't know. I wouldn't say that your following has been increased. Just say that you know we're impactful because we are able to talk to people across the world. We could be the voice of change. I always say that. But I don't know, you can say something um, about your generation. People, Pageant trainers, they say, okay, when you're doing your top five, your top three question, try to personalize it to yourself so it makes you stand out. But sometimes it makes you look like... It seems like you're just full of yourself, so I feel like kind of the message gets a little lost because it's you're talking about, you know, whatever the question is and trying to answer that. And then you bring something completely odd, like, you know, her accounting degree and stuff like that had nothing to do with the the question like how is that being impactful I don't, I don't understand um yeah so I, I'll give it to uh, what is it, North Carolina <laughs> North Carolina yes yeah. um I, I thought it was a decent lineup I don't think any of them is a, a potential Miss Universe sorry I think Mexico was I think mm. but I'm saying, I like North Carolina because she's different I mean I love her hair and she doesn't look like she had any work done and she was like a different beauty that I like Oh, definitely. Oh, oh, the swimsuit, um, she had a really she nice body. Yeah. I thought she had She's the like she worked out, yeah, for sure. And there was a lot of Botox. What are you and, talking about? No, there was a lot of Botox in the prelims that I noticed. What are you talking about? You said being throwing some shade at people. And no, I'm just saying. It's because she looks really natural, and that's what I like. I also don't think she's a Miss Universe. Okay. Well, I think she'll We'll see. Good. She'll try. Okay. We'll be supporting her. Yes. Mm. You'll definitely be in my top 15 for Miss New Universe. And I don't know about you, but well, she's in mine because I think she's, she's really pretty. She's very, she's very intelligent. She answers yeah, very that's well. what I like. She's very fluent in her answers. Um, Alright. Well, I hope you guys okay. enjoyed the video. It was, uh, like I said, back from not doing a review in a pageant in a while. I know. But, you know, it's a little bit late. Like I said, we're a little busy. Hopefully things lighten up a little bit so we can do a little more videos and mm -hmm. uh, we're looking forward to doing Miss Universe again this year. Uh, let us yes. know what you guys think, if you guys agree, if you guys disagree, if you guys hate us, if you guys love us. I don't know. <laughs> Just let us know, Just let us know something, <laughs> in the <yeah>. comments. <laughs> Alright, see you guys. Okay, bye. bye.